Happy Super Bowl Sunday, guys. Listen, I'm not sure if you watched the game or if you cooked Super Bowl snacks. We did not do any snacks. We did a full meal. But prior to that, I had to get myself some wine to give me a little motivation. I started out with this 19 Crimes Cali Gold. It's a sparkling wine. It's Snoop's wine. It is 11% alcohol by volume. It's loaded with citrus and tropical aromas and flavors. It is a perfect wine for basically any wine drinker. It is um, good alone. You can use it for mimosas. It's a really good wine. So for dinner, I am cooking beef pockets and also going to fix a little salmon and shrimp, shrimp dish. Uh, here you see me just trimming the fat. And once I trim the fat, I'm going to rinse the meat off and then I'm going to cut it into some chunks. Before I keep going with my uh, chatter here, I just want y'all to know that part of this video will be montaged out. I probably won't talk the entire time just so that you can watch and see what's going on in the video without me running my mouth. So this is just me rinsing the beef off and once I get it on this cutting board, I'm going to get it, you know, cut into some nice sized chunks. Now listen, when you see me cutting further into the video, the chunks are not going to be the same size. There was no rhyme or reason to the way that I cooked it. I just wanted nice sized chunks of beef for their beef pockets. The traditional way that I've seen people do it is they use a nice cut of steak and they add potatoes and sometimes onions. I wanted them to have a more hearty packet, so I used chuck roast because you know that's a thicker piece of beef. Here I'm seasoning it and I'm trying to show all you the seasonings on the screen here so that you can write those down. Again, I don't measure. I kind of season to eye and depending on what the food is, I'll season to taste. A tip for me um, that I started to do or during the pandemic was to create my own seasoning blends. And then I would, once I created the seasoning blends, I would taste it, um, you know, dampen your finger and taste it to see if it's a good balance of seasonings in your, whatever kind of vessel you're mixing your seasoning in. Because that way, you know, you can have some pre-mixed seasoning blends for whatever you're cooking. And, you know, it sometimes can cut the time out from having to use individual seasonings uh, on your food. But as you can see, I did not do that today. These are all individual jars and I hope you were able to um, get a screen print of, screen print, I'm not at work, a screenshot of what uh, I was using. So um, once again, this is weed pockets and after this, I'm gonna do some cutting of some uh, peppers and onions. And that's going to also go into the foil pouches with the beef. All right, so this is me just cleaning off everything. Of course, who else is it, Tanya? It's me. <laughs> so, um, listen, I don't use gloves in the kitchen that often. It actually depends on what I'm cooking. But I didn't have any gloves in the kitchen to use today while, while mixing the meat, which was totally fine. Um... It wasn't too, too messy, but you know, for those who are grossed out by touching meat, which sometimes I actually am, I suggest getting and keeping some gloves in your kitchen. Um, I can't remember if I told you guys earlier, but instead of cooking the onion and garlic in the pan by itself, just to get those aromatics going, I decided to just chop up the garlic and, uh, actually minced it and added it to the bowl with the beef that way when i put the beef in the pans i will be pan one pan girl i'll be cooking the garlic and the beef at the same time and those um garlic aromas and flavors can actually infuse into the meat and that was you know a little shortcut for myself too I took an extra, extra step out y'all excuse me for all the skipping and stuttering that i'm doing I don't remember what my husband was saying to me, but I did tell him, hey, yo, you know I'm recording, right? He was like, yep, oh well. So, kiss kiss to my husband. Here I'm just dicing up when I sliced up onion to put into the foil packets. And here I am uh, cutting the insides out of the peppers. And... I often save my seeds because you guys know I like to garden. So this is just the insides of each one of those peppers. I'm gonna dry those seeds out and save them for next year's gardening project. So listen, I've debated going live while doing this, but 
I don't know if I'm quite ready to go live yet. I did it a long time ago, but it was just with wine and making cocktails. This is different. This is cooking. And because I don't measure stuff out, let me turn the um TV down. Hold on. Y'all, I'm on the little um face tracking device. Okay, so what I was saying was I don't know that I'm quite quite ready yet to um, go live cooking um, I think I did it during the pandemic but I have not done it since and I think that the camera's actually cutting my head off right now but anyway um, I'm debating doing some live cooking every now and then so y'all drop down in the comments and let me know if that's something that you know i should start doing again it just kind of gives me pause because i don't really measure stuff unless i'm baking and i know not measuring for some people is a problem they don't like that so that's my reasoning behind um not going live while cooking and just sharing recipes that like this recipe today there is no recipe i'm winging it because it came in my mind and i thought that oh this sounds like this would be good so yeah i'm actually doing steak potato vegetable pouches and i'm gonna put them in some heavy duty foil and then i'm gonna make a seafood dish as well it's gonna be something with salmon and shrimp but y'all will see that in a few moments but right now we got the peppers and onions going i'm gonna cook the beef and then i'm going to i'm gonna sear it then i'm gonna finish it in the pouches oh and i'm gonna add some um some of these little baby baby potatoes to it so that's gonna be the beef pouches and i'm using chuck roast and then i'll move on to the salmon dish salmon and shrimp dish so Y'all stay tuned, and um, like I said, I ain't going live because I don't be measuring. Cheers. Oh, y'all know I've reviewed this 19 Crimes Cali Gold Prosecco sparkling wine several times before. It's a staple. It's a favorite. Um, it's 11% alcohol by volume, and it is a Cabernet, uh, Cal Cabernet Lord, a California wine. Here's the labeling, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's real smooth. It's not super sweet. It's not too dry. So anybody who likes a mid-level wine that's between sweetness and dryness would love this wine. Um, it makes good sang sangrias. What is wrong with me today? It makes good... Um, mimosas but it's even better by itself to me because i'm not a huge mimosa girl i like mimosas but i like a splash of gin in mine judge me not that's just how i like my mimosas so try that out and um let me know what y'all think but anyway drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about the live cooking with wine pairings and all that kind of stuff or a cocktail pairing all right now i'm gonna get back to cook All right, so this is the mixture all together in the pan. I used red, yellow, I think they were like mini Yukon gold potatoes, purple potatoes and red potatoes that come in the bag. So that's what we have here. I mixed it all together, put it in the foil patch patches, pouches. <laughs> Lord, I can't talk. <laughs> and then I cooked it on 375. Um, that was my husband. He wanted to take a picture of it to um, show someone you know different ideas of weight gain meals i'm not having it and um you know i ain't trying to gain no weight but it is what it is so this is going to be for the salmon dish so in my mind i was going to do like these brown sugar salmon and shrimp bites and i was going to dress it with the peppers and onions my goal was to actually cook the salmon and the shrimp separate 
and then cook the peppers and onions and serve it all together like that. But once I saw the salmon kind of breaking up, I just decided to make it one big mixture and um, cook it all together. Of course, I still was going to add the brown sugar um, because I wanted that, that sugar element which is surprising because I'm not typically one that likes a lot of sweetness to my foods that should be savory. Um, and to give it like a little tropical element, I decided to add a little bit of pineapple because y'all see those recipes out there that are like, um, I think it's like a pineapple stuffed with fried rice and shrimp or some other meat. I think I've seen it with beef. So this is kind of my take on that. Instead of stuffing a pineapple i decided to dice the pineapple up and add it to the mixture and um did just cook it all together stovetop first and then i was going to put it in the oven so that those are the steps that i was going to take and i'm going to stop talking now and let you guys finish watching All right, so what you saw earlier was the mixture of the salmon, the shrimp, the peppers, pineapple, and onion. While it cooked, I noticed it was creating uh, quite a bit of juice. So I drained that off. I added some more seasoning, added more brown sugar, and popped it in the oven because I figured cooking it in the oven would be better than stovetop. Um, I did taste it a little, and it was really good. I could taste the brown sugar. I could taste the pineapple. And I know that I have a slight allergy to pineapple, so I'm going to be taking a Benadryl later. Mm -hmm, I know, that's crazy but anyway back to me cooking uh, fix some corn and use fresh corn and put that in some foil pouches I don't know what the deal is with me in foil pouches but they working for me today so I seasoned the corn with all the seasonings that you saw I poured the melted butter over it and then mixed it up really good to coat each piece of corn with the butter and seasoning mixture popped it in the oven and I did that on 400 so that it could get like a deep cook. Um, fresh broccoli was for dinner. And yeah, this was the dinner. All right, here's my plate. So that is the salmon, pineapple, shrimp mixture with the peppers and the onions. All right, let's go in for a taste. But first, I'm gonna show you the beef pockets that my husband and daughter will be eating. Um, I picked up one of the smaller ones because I put the smaller ones on top. But um, this is what it looks like on the inside. That purple is not burnt meat, that is the purple potatoes, okay? Purple potatoes. And um, they said that it tasted good. So I was excited about that. Now let me try my food. But first, we gotta say our grace. So I added the mixture over rice. I don't even know what to call it other than salmon and shrimp <laughs> because I can't come up with a fancy name. Um, it tastes good. The only thing I would do the next time is use fresh salmon and I would cook the salmon and shrimp separately, definitely, instead of mixing it with the, um, the stuff, the other stuff, the peppers and onions. I would cook that you know in a separate pan and then I would do that later as you can see loved the corn the corn was so good it's so sweet and then you get all of those savory flavors from the seasonings and the butter really really good anyway I hope you guys enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday we enjoyed ours peace and blessings I'll talk to you guys next time